Hank, you better bring that boat over right this second, or you're going to be in a heap of trouble, boy. Oh, come on, Hank, I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I'm thinking about my dreams and all the times I can go after them. You know, I always planned on being a country music singer. And I don't mean like out at Bookies either. I mean like a, a recording artist. Like Merle Haggard or Alan Jackson. <laughs> yeah, right. I just never done shit about it. Just talk. I'm sick of talk. I guess this means you're going to Nashville tonight. I mean it this time. <laughs> Hank, you know just as well as I do, as soon as that sun comes up, you're gonna be out front of that jailhouse, you're gonna be turning yourself in. Nope. Me and Naomi broke up last night. I ain't got no reason to stay now. <laughs> it's over, I ain't going back to her. I mean it. Man, you've been going to Nashville since you was my age. And you ain't even made it as far as the county line. <laughs> in the kitchen and he's talking about going to Nashville tonight. Hank's always talking about going to Nashville. Yeah, but he came after his guitar. What the hell happened to you? Oh, I just came for my guitar. Well, I guess this is supposed to mean you're going to Nashville, right? Well, that's where I was heading. You can't even dress yourself. How are you going to make it in Nashville? <laughs> what do you care? It's over, right? Well, it will be if you move to Nashville. When you go learn that nobody gives a shit about Nashville? <sighs> Maybelline, my heart is a song, and you are its melody. Maybelline, your picture is missing. Girl must be running late again. Maybelline, <coughs> my heart is a song, and you are its melody. Are you all right, Earl? Uh, uh yeah, I was just um, uh, resetting the clicker. Guess what, Earl? Maybelline got invited to that country star's welcome home party tonight. Did you know they used to have a sign? <laughs> Who knows, you might be looking for a new employee of the month tonight. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, Earl? So tell me more about Mr. Harley Davidson. Well, he also had this thing about showers. You know, for a guy with a tattoo, he's pretty darn clean. <laughs> Child, he had one of those shower massages. Maybelline? Girl, he had a super deluxe one. I'm talking five speed poles here. What is it, Earl? Maybelline. My. Maybelline. <clears throat> My. My. Yeah, Earl. She also gave her backstage passes to the little thing tonight. Hmm, ain't that something? Yeah, that's something. <laughs> Was there something that you wanted, Earl? Just wanted to remind you that we're having a two-for-one special on Chip Green Cola. Just like every Friday, right? Women? Earl, you've come to the right man, my friend. Well, let's see. There's only two things you really got to remember about women. That's chitlins and mountain oyster. You see, a woman is kind of like... I like this peach. But you know what you're doing. You can enjoy all the sweetness that peach has on. I'm allergic to peaches. <laughs> You're missing the point, boy. You got to find the peach inside of her. And then see her in a way that ain't nobody else ever seen her. And you speak to her from your peach. I just want to know how to tell her how I feel. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All that fuss over a peach. 
What's gotten into you today, Earl? You know, Earl's always been like this. In my high school, we carried around that chubby for Lou Van Culpepper for a fucking year and never said a word to her. Then he did speak to her and she laughed at him. Why? This is different. Because he had to say some bullshit about his heart being a song or something. How you get a woman? Well, hell, Earl. You just need a strong rope and a big trunk. Well, it just don't bite. It's like deer. I got to slay you. You, 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 you. Earl, you know Bill Jean never had to deal with no shit like that. I said get out of my way. What? Oh, I see. You think you do good to be seen with a little meat cutter, huh? I never put that out! Look, you can't keep your peach head forever. <sighs> Thanks anyway, but I don't think that's gonna do any good. Take the peach, boy. You can't let yourself get this worked up over a woman. Ain't just a woman. She's the only reason I get up in the morning. She's the only bright part of this miserable job. And after tonight, yes, darling, I'm asking you now. It lifts me up, makes me feel so much better. Sometimes if you're HIV and medications, you don't feel like doing nothing. But here it gives you life. Hearts and Voices is an ongoing live concert series for people living with HIV and AIDS in New York City. We put on about 250 shows a year. We go all over town. And we have every kind of genre of music you could think of represented. We have hip hop, we have jazz, we have soul, we have R&B, we have Broadway, we have singer-songwriter. You know, there's a big, big list. Tomorrow's leaders are going to depend on individuals who feel comfortable going before a camera, are able to speak in public. These are just some of the basics. And unfortunately, many times our students don't have these opportunities. But being able to have a program like this and being able to be in front of the camera, using their iPods, learning how to do interviews, all of that has been so positive.